You know, Kate, um, you didn't tell me to lose, but these guys are already here, so let's just do the bit. Uh, we'll finish it up. You like this, Vern? No one's going to steal my bit. Come on. All right, you know what? Kate's got to get into the next character. You guys got any questions for Ed Bus? I'll take one question, anything. I mean, really about like positions, anything that's bothering you, any uh, solutions, anything like that. Not, not you, Bert. Anybody else? Just let me know. No question's a dumb question. Go ahead. That's a dumb fucking question. Come on. Are we ready? One, one, one at a time, Jack. Skylark is loaded up with the quick greet. Yeah. I got, I'm the only mayoral candidate that actually has quick greet in the back of his cutlass. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> the Chicago machine is the biggest thing in this room. Are you crazy? <laughs> Think about it. You, we want, it's kind of like uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, right? Yes. The machine is dying. It doesn't exist anymore. It was never there. These are not the droids you're looking for. You know what I'm saying. One more question. We're ready? Okay, what do we got? Should we get Dan Peff back up there? Dan Peff. Is he, he's probably uh, dancing. He's like, oh, yeah, what? Huh? <laughs> Someone really likes you, buddy. I don't get it. It might be the uh, trousers. I'm not sure. All right, you know what? Why don't we go back to the media? The media's standing by. They got an update. Why don't we check in with the uh, media, Mark Bazer? Mark? Uh, thank you, Nasita. Uh, we're back at the Ed Bus Chop House where 55% of precincts have now reported and Ed Bus still stands at only one vote. But the mood here is still jubilant. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go right back up to... We've got, what? We've got, you know, we're doing all right. No, I, we're not doing an interview here. <laughs> no, no, but, no, no, that's, no, Jack, no, Jack, no, Jack, no, I know... No, no, come on, we gotta do one. I mean, you know, Feeder's here and he's a blogger now. Yeah. So, I mean, that's so important. I've got to send this and right then, back up to no, Nasita right got, you now. Know, Rom's got his seven-year-old kid. Yeah, sure. We got a kid that's better. All right, all right. I got, I got, me? I got, she's from Rich Wright High School. All right. And it's Zoe. 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 So okay. here, Zoe. Bring her up, bring her up. Come on up. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, Mark How are you? Hi. Thank you so much, Jack Sackwabas. My, yeah, just a second. I hear you. Hi, everybody. My glasses are a little foggy because my dressing room is an alley. <laughs> My mom and dad are super proud of me right now. Uh, hi, everybody. My name is Zoe Dunkel, and I'm a freshman at Rich White High School in the 53rd Ward. And I just wanted to stop by tonight to address everybody here, especially some of the political chain by folks in this world. Okay, Bernie Paris, um, please shut the fuck up longer than that. <laughs> uh, there will be time for questions later. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we're on the air? I just wanted to tell everybody uh, one small question, and I, I have a statement to make everybody here, and that is this. It gets better. On behalf of kids everywhere who are struggling to find out who they are but happen to know at an early age, I just want to say it gets better. Okay? Sure, Jason Oberschmidt may tell everybody that you sneak into the cafeteria 20 minutes early to rub your butt on the apples, and there might be... There might be a dedicated space on Foursquare for people to check into in order to harass you online, but it gets better. At least that's what my psychotherapy team and Ellen DeGeneres are telling me. <laughs> and you might think, you know, oh, you're just a kid. You know, a lot of kids are exuding, you know, sort of risky behavior because they're trying to figure out who they are. Not me. I do not suck face. It's not because I don't have opportunities to suck face. I totally have a lot of opportunities to mark face and suck face. I totally do. I just know that I'm not emotionally ready for that sort of thing yet. And of course I have crushes, I'm a little human. I mean, come on, I totally have crushes on people. Like WGN, uh, Mark Sapelta. I mean, right? When he like accepted my Facebook friendship, I may or may not have assumed that we were going steady. And, uh, but that was just because we have a past, because I met him uh, last year. I shook his hand after he hosted the Portillo stage at the Pace of Chicago. <laughs> it was Bluegrass Day, and I met him there. And then six months later, I ran into him at the Black Women's Expo of McCormick Place. Don't ask. It was a really long story. <laughs> anyway, when I saw him from across the floor, it was like he was unhooking my bra on my mind. <laughs> 
And I probably shouldn't have said that out loud because now I'm not allowed within 500 feet of this townhouse. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, that they're gonna assume that, that, that this relationship isn't real, but I totally know he's gonna come pick me up someday after school in his purple Corvette, and he's gonna open the door, and all the kids are gonna see, and glitter balloons are gonna come out, and Katy Perry music, and he's gonna take me to Old Orchard, and I'm gonna get my ears triple pierced, and then I'm gonna get sweatpants with words on the butt, and so Mark said no to my words, Mark Baser. That's gonna happen, okay? And a lot of people might be like, are you like so sad because you don't get invited to things at school? And like, you know, like today everyone was talking about Amber Shrink's blowjob party tonight. And I was like, well, the joke's on you because I'm not allowed to have a job till I'm 16. So besides, my mom and I have a really great weekend plan. We're gonna go see the King's Speech, which, you know, got better for him because of the incomparable Jeffrey Rush. And then we're gonna go home and play uh, Girls Only, Texas Hold'em, and drink Virgin Jack and Coke Zeros. My mom's like my best friend. In my diary, I call her Susan. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Zoe, I, I, I just... <laughs> Zoe, we gotta go back, but I just wanna say, I think it, it takes a very brave young teen to get up here in front of an audience and on live TV and tell everyone that you're gay. What? <laughs> it, it, it gets better. I'm not gay. You know, the It's Gets Better program, it's for gay teens. Seriously, I thought that was just for like lovable nerds who someday want to be like a horse doctor slash ice skating judge slash Broadway star. That's what I thought, thought that was all about me, you know, but that's not what we're talking about. I don't even know, how would I know if I'm gay? I've never even had sex. Wait, does sitting on the dryer count as sex? No, it doesn't. I don't even know gay people unless you count like watching that Keith Morrison guy on Dateline NBC. But like, oh, you know what? I'm just realizing my theater teacher, Mr. Sapanek, he invited me last year to the gay pride parade so we could watch him and his roommate Doug be on a float that celebrates the freedoms of Cheetah GM. And this is all sort of trying to make sense to me now. You know what? I should probably go. My dad's girlfriend, Chrissy, dropped me off so she could go to her waxing appointment, but she's probably out there now. And on Saturday nights, we drive downtown so she can double park for free on Dearborn and go into Excalibur. And I sit in the car. She says that hockey players that play for the Blackhawks and foreigners really like girls with blonde hair. And when I told my dad she said that, he was like, well, at least she's not your mom. Hey, Zoe Donko. <laughs> Back to you, Nasita. If anybody knows where Mark Chappelle eats lunch these days, because he's no longer eating lunch at that Wendy's on Addison and Western, and the party city across the street doesn't serve lunch, so I just am wondering if anybody knows where you can stop. Okay, Bert and Terrace, Bert and Terrace, I swear to God, I will come off this stage. I will come off this stage, and I will fight you. Before the night is through. Who would like to see me fight Bert and Terrace? I would like to see it. Or any character for that matter. I got your lane on my side too. You're small but he's strappy. <laughs> so we talk a little bit. Oh and my gentlemen. god, thank you so much. I'm gonna leave now that I threatened the home you. <laughs> thank you very much. After the uh, the victory party, we will be having a cage match between Zoe Dunkel and Alderman Burton Terrace. Starting right here at 1045. Up next, it's gonna be happening.